guys, this is Maui Snake asking you, do you have what it takes to be an in-game leader or IGL? So the first thing you're going to want to ask yourself is, are you okay with watching lots of demos? Because in order to be a successful IGL, you need to be watching demos from HLTV, the ESCA page, maybe even the SIVO page if you're playing that, and you need to be able to study these demos. And everyone that wants to get better and play this game wants to do just that, play this game. So are you okay with actually watching this game? So if the idea of fast forwarding, rewinding, skipping rounds, working with the crappy demo UI system uh, makes you cringe already, you probably don't have a future in IGLing. So the second question you have to ask yourself is, do you think you can find it within yourself to reevaluate your ideas or criticize yourself? Because you're gonna be watching all of these demos and you're gonna see this sick double fake that Verse Pro do on Mirage. And you're gonna bring this up to your team and you're gonna run the strat four, five, maybe six times. And the strat's maybe gonna work once or twice for you guys. And if that's the case, um, especially if with one of those rounds, it's the only reason you want it is because someone won a sick 4K clutch or something like that, then that strat probably just isn't for you guys. And you need to be able to put your ego aside or um, realize that all this time you spent watching and learning how this demo or how this strategy worked was kind of just actually something you could just save for later. It's not useless, but you probably cannot use it with how your current team is. So you need to be able to think about that. Um, put your ego aside and say, okay, the strategy isn't for us. And that's okay. Different teams have their own strengths and weaknesses. So the third question you're going to have to ask yourself is, uh, what kind of team are you aiming to build? Uh, if it's a casual team, um, that's okay. Uh, and what I'm basically getting at is, are you okay with uh, reevaluating your players' contributions to the team? Um, if you're okay with having a casual team that's going to go maybe 6 and 10 in ESCA Open or 8 and 8, um, and you don't care really that, that much about making it to the higher divisions, then uh, you don't really have to worry about this too much. But if you want a team that is going to make it to the higher level every season, make it to intermediate, make it to main playoffs, then maybe make it to premier the following season, uh, maybe make it to professional even, uh, you're going to have to think about are the players that are on my team actually working for me and this team? Because you're going to be putting in tons of hours into this game if you're watching all of these demos and you're trying to come up with all these strategies. And if there's someone that's holding your team back, you need to be able to realize that pretty quickly and you need to be able to say something to them about their performance or you need to be able to just straight up cut them. And I'm not, I don't like, I don't like the idea of cutting teammates or... Um, players constantly and having constant roster shifts in order to try to get better but sometimes it is the answer and at the lower levels you can't just say hey let's stick it out for a, a year and see what's going on because you don't have that much time to try to get better at this game uh, <laughs> just you, you can't just stick with the same team forever and hope eventually you'll make it pro because if you really actually want to get good at this game you need to be getting better faster every season and it's actually there's actually a time constraint on this uh, you will find that your window of opportunity will vanish if you are not uh, getting better quickly so the fourth question you're going to have to ask yourself is are you okay with being the captain of the team or the manager pretty much um, by this i mean you need to be handling a lot of the interpersonal conflicts that are occurring within your team you sometimes need to be the babysitter as rough as that sounds um, basically if if you guys have a ct setup and you decide that two of your top fraggers are not working together for whatever reason you need to get in there and start the dialogue you need to say hey guys, uh, what's going on at A or B or whatever? And uh, what what can we do to fix this? Do we need to switch where players are playing? Do we need to uh, change something drastic? Uh, do you guys need to just work out your nade usage, maybe coordinate your crossfires better? You need to get in there and just kind of manage the players. And if the idea of interpersonal conflict resolution is not entertaining to you, you might also uh, not have a great future in IGLing. And the last but probably most important thing about being a good in-game leader is that you need to be listening to your teammates constantly. Uh, if you can't find yourself listening to people, um, I know you want to be the IGL. I know you want to 
come up with those all these strategies. I know you want to be the voice of the team, but if your teammates are bringing up ideas to you and all you do is ignore them, you are a terrible IGL. You are probably the worst IGL. You cannot, unless you're a pro already, you cannot get away with doing that because your teammates have eight eyeballs and you have two eyeballs. Maybe, a de like, barring disability, but um, you're probably aren't seeing as much or hearing as much as your teammates are. So if your teammates are bringing an idea to you or they're saying something about the counter-terrorist setup and you're the terrorist and you're just ignoring that and you're just saying, no, we're going to A exec again. And then your teammates are like, no, IGL, they have four people there. Then you need to just shut up and listen sometimes. Like, uh, keep calling your strategies. But if you are ignoring your teammates, you are being a very bad IGL. So stop doing that. All right. So... The questions you need to ask yourself if you want to be an IGL. Are you okay with watching demos? Are you okay with reevaluating your strategies and yourself? Are you okay with uh, maybe having to work with people um, and uh, maybe cutting teammates as hard as that sounds and being and, and like realizing that your teammates might be holding you back? Are you okay with uh, being the captain and uh trying to resolve every conflict that arises in your team being able to like use empathy to understand how one word one person's words might be affecting another person on your team you need to be able to be that link between teammates um, because a lot of these guys are not always the best at talking about how they feel when another person talks to them and you sometimes need to be that person that steps in there and uh, babysit them a little bit and uh lastly and most importantly are you able to listen to your teammates so Listen to your teammates, guys. All right. Thanks, guys. That's That should get you a good start for uh, deciding whether or not you want to be an in-game leader. Thanks.